competition and so impressive to see them work their skills out there. If you are going out to the fair today, though, Zane, it's going to be a great day for it. It's going to be fantastic. No matter what you're going out to the fairgrounds for, Nicole, absolutely nice, pretty colors outside here this morning, leading us into what is going to be a nice sunny day. It's just a little bit crisp feeling outside again. 56 in the metro, the dew points low down in the upper 40s, which has allowed our air to really cool down with those dry conditions and light winds. We've got more of this September weather to go here as we head through today. Now, as we head through the rest of the weekend, we're getting back towards a little bit more like summer weather. Eventually, first off, we'll have some thunderstorms possible Sunday night, and then our temperatures start to work back up into the 80s as soon as the middle of next week. But we're not done with the 70s just yet. We're going to have a lot of them outside today. Mid to upper 70s widespread across the state. Mid 70s up in Algona, Fort Dodge, upper end of the 70s for the rest of Iowa. A little bit warmer than yesterday, but still very much below average. Lots of sun this afternoon. Tonight we'll see maybe a few clouds start to work on in here, but we'll then we'll start our Sunday similar to today. Lots of sunshine here, uh, at least to start off tomorrow. But then tomorrow's change is that we'll start to bring in some more clouds. Our breeze shifts to the south. Moisture starts to increase. Wouldn't shock me if we do have maybe a couple of isolated showers tomorrow afternoon. But the best chance of rain, like we mentioned, is going to be Sunday night. A little disturbance works its way uh, from the Rockies over the plains. And as soon as, let's say, 8, 9 o'clock out in western Iowa, we could be seeing some scattered thunder thunderstorms. Those will move southeast through western and then into southern parts of the state after 10 and 11 o'clock and into the wee hours of Monday morning. Maybe an isolated stronger storm is possible here too. So late Sunday night, don't be shocked if you hear some thunder, maybe get some heavy rain, especially if you're in western parts of the state. That'll then wrap up as we head towards Monday morning. Probably still, still see some scattered showers. Now the sky forecast is important next couple of nights because actually early on Monday morning is the peak of the Perseid meteor shower usually the biggest meteor shower of the year. So if you are going to be going out at any time this weekend to look, obviously you want to get outside the city, find some dark open skies. The northern sky is usually best, but any open space is good. Give your eyes plenty of time to adjust. We say the best viewing is after 11 p.m. because that's when the moon is going to be setting here the next few nights or 11 or later. Skywise, honestly, I wouldn't go tomorrow night because that's when we have that chance of storms and then Monday night's going to probably be mostly cloudy. Tonight will actually probably be the best night in terms of sky conditions a little bit before the peak because that moon sets a little bit earlier just before 11 o'clock and which means your skies will be darker and the moon is not as well lit because obviously we're headed for a full moon about a week from now. We're only going to have about 34% uh, illumination of the moon here coming up tonight. So tonight may be the best night because we won't have too many clouds. Now now look at this eight day forecast heading to next week. I mentioned summer comes back, but nothing, you know, raging heat or anything. Mid 80s at worst here towards the middle of next week. A little bit more humid though with high lows in the mid 60s at night. And we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms possible too. Even past Sunday night, Monday morning, back again Wednesday and possibly Thursday and Friday.